Okay, and we're back. This time we're going to make our pistol shoot with a raycast. This is a type of weapon called hit scan weapon since it registers a shot immediately in the engine as soon as you pull the trigger. We do this with raycasts, so that's what we'll need to add to this scene first up. I'm going to call mine aim cast and we're going to cast it far into the distance like negative 1000 on the Z axis. Then make sure you turn it to enabled. The other thing we're going to do is check the path from the gun to the object we're aiming to. So add a position 3D to the pistol we made in the previous video and we'll call it bullet point. We'll need to initialize it in the script with a variable so that we can access it in the player controller. Uh, we'll just call it bullet point. In the player controller script, initialize a variable for this aim raycast. I'll call mine aim cast. Then in the physics process, when we're checking for the left mouse click, we're going to check if raycast is colliding. And if it is, we're going to cast a ray from the bullet point, which is at the end of our gun, to the point where our raycast is. We'll need to get access to the direct space state to do this, which is done like so. Then we can intersect ray, which requires us to pass two positions, the from position and the to position. Um, our from position will be the bullet point we created earlier. Make sure to use the global transform dot origin. The two position is going to be a little bit different. First, it will be the aimcast.get collision point, which I can't seem to spell when I was doing this. Uh, we get there eventually. Nope, we've spelt collision wrong. Try again. I'll probably just end up cutting this. I mean, what the hell? Collision, double L I S. I should probably have figured this out by now. Then I'll put this in a new line so that you can see. We're going to add the difference between the two which will be aimcast.getCollisionPoint and I can spell it right this time minus the gun.bulletpoint.globaltransform.origin which we put before. We will normalize this value and then times it by two. The reason that we do this is because if you just put in the two position aimcast.getCollisionPoint it doesn't always register a hit from what I've researched, this is to do with a floating point error. Next, we can check if it's working just by printing to the console guncast collision.collider. Let's test it out. And slowly but surely, here we are. Okay, can't really see. I'll have to move the window. And get it out of the way. And you can see here that it's registering a static body every time. No problems. Um, I wasn't planning on making a video on this since Gabbage already has one, but I ran into trouble with his method and after some googling I found this fix. So I thought it was worth sharing. I'll demonstrate what happens if you only use the camera's raycast collision point as the two point here. Okay, I'll just comment out what I've written and I'll paste in basically the regular code that one might use for this. So you've got the from point gun bullet point dot global transform dot origin going to the aimcast dot get collision point and um, I'll have to move the window again so that we can see what's going on in the console and you can see that I've only registered one hit at this point and I've been shooting a lot and it's just not registering that many hits so you definitely need to use this method there's no way around it you just can't hit cast doing it this way so that doesn't work get rid of that and put in back the regular code. Okay, let's add some hit detection to this. 
this technique works with static bodies by default. So uh, we'll start there. The easiest thing to demo this on are the chairs in my scene. Maybe you have actual enemies in your scene, but I've got chairs, so I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna add the recliners to the group damage. And then we'll add a script to the recliner and just do a bit of code here and make a function called take damage. And in the function, I will call Q free. Now we just need to drop this script onto both recliners and we're good to go. Back in our character script, we can check to see if what we're colliding with is in the group damage. Simply type guncastcollision.collider dot is in group damage. Then, if this is true, we can call the take damage function on the collider. This ensures that we only call this function on scenes that have this in their script. Alternatively, you can also store guncastcollision.collider into a variable and call take damage on that if it, you find this is a bit wordy. Okay, let's jump in and test it out. And bye bye chairs. We have a we have a chair killing gun. Here we go. Very scary. Um, obviously, you can extrapolate, <laughs> extrapolate. Obviously, you can extrapolate this technique out onto your enemies if you've got them, and anything else you want to destroy in your game. Okay, so there's one other thing that we need to do. Um, over in the shoot function on the pistol, we need to just add a return. We just need to add a return false and also a return true at the end of each of these checks so that we can pass that information on to the player controller. This way we're not continuously firing ray casts and doing damage to them every time we click the button. We don't want that. We only want to do it when the gun is actually shooting because that's how guns work. Okay, so we'll just add a variable to hold gun.shoot and then that will return true or false and we'll also double check that when the aim cast is colliding and shooting is true that will actually do damage to whatever we're shooting at okay and you can see this here down where it says spatial it's only really going off when i hit the uh, left mouse trigger which is exactly what we want okay and that's how you use the animation player to sort of control the rate of fire how did you go have you had any trouble with uh hit scan ray casting in the past let me know in the comments down below hit the like button if you liked it and make sure to subscribe because next we're going to set up a separate layer for the pistol so it doesn't collide with anything